We went with a company called Herringbone based in Canterbury for our kitchen and overall we had a pretty good experience with them. I think they were definitely the best company that understood our style and knew exactly what we wanted. This, where the oven is, actually used to be a wall and there was a separate room. And we knocked the wall down in order to create one giant kitchen diner and it was probably one of the best decisions we made in our house. So let me show you around my kitchen. So first of all, we have this great big chunky island. There's a mark here. Gonna... Okay. So first of all, we have this great big chunky island. Now we ended up going with granite for our island. What was it then? Quartz. Quartz. Okay. I did really like the marble look and the idea of marble. Hence why our island has a little vein through it and looks quite like marble. However, mar marble is very porous and I didn't really want to have loads of stains all over it and for it to need replacing. I kind of, I just wanted it to be long lasting. So this is what we went for in the end. And it's super chunky and it's a waterfall island, which I really, really love. And I think it is very luxurious and is a massive statement in the room. And then we have two bathrooms under our island. I think, where are these from? Were they from, where are they from? No clue. I'm not sure where they're from, but we have these two um, stools here. I think we can fit more, but it's quite a good amount to just have two. And then we have our first cupboard. Now this cupboard isn't very deep because we want the other side of the island to have the deeper cupboards. And in here, we literally just keep all of our cookbooks, candles and vases. And that's literally all we keep, but it's an extremely handy cupboard and in a really, really great position. And then we have something which is extremely exciting. We have a double dishwasher. We actually didn't used to have this in our old house. We only had a single one. So to have a double dishwasher is just such a blessing, especially when you're tidying up. It's just been completely amazing. And then this is where we keep our glasses. So we have everyday glasses here and then we have our nicer everyday glasses and then party glasses, I guess, alcohol glasses are kept there and then we have our snack cupboard in here which i kind of tried to organize a little bit with the chocolate and the crisps all in the same place i absolutely love things looking really organized behind closed doors <laughs> that's a great thing for me we also we chose to go for armand martin for all of our handles in this whole kitchen. We went for silver, which I'm not sure I'm that keen on anymore, but overall I think it was good. We didn't want to choose brass and then have the brass age and not look very good. So silver is what we went for. It also matches all of our appliances. Next we have the bins. I really love how our bins are hidden. And then we just have recycling and everyday rubbish. The amazing thing about these bins is they actually hold so much rubbish and they are literally hidden so you would never know. And then we have all our bin bags here on the little shelf on top. Then we have our sink which is actually a butler style sink. I absolutely love it and I really wanted something that was quite chunky and a big statement in the kitchen because this, this sink is quite chunky obviously you can see and it looks really really amazing. We also have this amazing tap, and if you tap it down, twist it, it's hot water. And then we have a waste disposal, which when you press this button, it comes on. And I have to say, I'm so glad that we had that because it just makes the clear up of any occasion so much easier. I really didn't like putting food in the bin and then having to change the bin immediately. A waste disposal is definitely the way forward and something I would recommend to anyone. And then under gear, we have spare soaps, one of Nat's tools for something, what's it for? The waste disposal. For the waste disposal. And then all of this, which is for the dishwasher and our uh, washing up liquid, which we keep under here because I didn't really want it on display. Next we have our hob. 
Our hob is actually from the original kitchen that was put in here. We simply just used the old one because I didn't think it was really worth the money to buy a new one and it works really, really great. I personally like this style of hob as it's really easy to clean and just a lot quicker to just wipe over a flat surface than it would be with a traditional hob. And then we have this tap, which I really love. It just, cold water is all that comes out of here. It's not really hot water, but it's absolutely perfect if you're cooking. And it's also quite unique as it's an American thing. I thought it'd be really cool to have it in the kitchen as you don't really see it very much in England. And then underneath the hob, we have this drawer. Now we went for walnut interiors, which I wasn't sure at first because when the kitchen first arrived, everything just looked so dark, but now I'm really happy. It looks like quite a statement and I really like how with the Herringbone kitchens, you can organize things really easily like this. So we've organized everything into what it is. And then we have a pan drawer and another pan drawer with our necrises in. And then here we have a cupboard which we don't personally use a lot as we don't drink tea. And then our teas and coffees right at the top because neither of us actually drink hot drinks, but we have them here just in case anyone should need them. And then next we have this cupboard. When the kitchen was first done, I actually honestly did not know what to do with this cupboard, but we have made use of it. So in here we keep all of our cooking oils in this plastic container, which is so handy because I just didn't want to get oil on the wood should it leak. And then we have a few appliances and then we have some tinned food. And then here we have some bigger, chunkier items from the kitchen. And then moving on, we have our oven, which again is from the old kitchen. And above here, we have all of the massive items from the kitchen, such as the mixing bowl, a big lacrosse, a glass jug. And then at the top, we just keep a lot of plastic Tupperware. And then directly underneath the oven, we keep all of our cooking, trays, all of our baking trays are all kept under here. And then we just have another pan drawer. And this is possibly one of my favorite things. We have this absolutely massive cupboard. Inside this cupboard, we keep all of our drinks and all of the pasta. I bought these from Zara Home. I really like how the top of them is the same color as everything in here. And then we just keep all of our appliances, such as our microwave, our knives, our coffee machine, and the toaster. And then on the outside, we have all of our spices here. So I put all the green ones here and all the orange ones here. And it's very handy that they are here. And then in the top drawer, we just have loads of pasta sauces and things for cakes and noodles and stock cubes. And then we have all of our stuff for if we're having a party or it's Christmas or just hosting any kind of dinner party. And then finally, we have just loads of cleaning cloths in here. And then around it, we would just put cereal boxes. That's the big cupboard. You can actually hide in there and stand in there, it's pretty big. And then we have this cupboard. Now we have all of our dog stuff in this, this and this, so they have a lot of stuff. Then we have our medicine all here and we have actually labelled it all so it is incredibly easy to find. And then below that we just have two cleaning cleaning cupboard areas. <laughs> And then finally, we have this cupboard above the fridge, which is actually where we keep our Wi-Fi, so it's quite boring. And then we have a double American fridge, which is so exciting. And 
yeah, I probably need to sort the fridge out today. We're actually doing our food shop later, but this is what is in the fridge currently. I don't know if that looks absolutely awful. No, it looks fine. So, the first drawer might be one of my favourite drawers. I absolutely love how the cutlery is organised in here. To me, this is one of the main reasons why we went with herringbone, because I just wanted this kind of look inside the inside the drawer and I really like it. We just have spoons, forks, normal knives, steak knives, teaspoons, soup spoons and then napkin things. And then in here we have our bowl drawer which are all from Denby or Anthropology. And then we have all of our plates. We actually have quite a lot of plates. And then moving along, we have this drawer. We have all our massive spoons for if we're serving something and forks. And then we have scissors, sellotape, string. And then, then in this one, we just have little bits that you might need in the kitchen, such as a lighter, a peeler. And then here we just have spare knives and a whisk. <laughs> And then we have all of our dishcloths and oven gloves and a table cloth in here. And then we have, we need, we've got new ones today, but we've got chopping boards and all our tin foil. And then finally we have this, which does not look, why is that round that way? Finally we have this, which is oven number three. I really like this oven, it's very useful if it's Christmas day and we have a little warming drawer here which is not very clear with this oven glove and then we have a wine fridge which actually came with the house um, and we just put it, we have a wine fridge here and we just put it here. Starting off with this area in the kitchen. We have this, which is essentially like a smart home. It controls all our lighting and gives information about various electrical appliances within the home. Nat actually coded this, which is amazing. And we have a few of these in the house. And then we have this beautiful photograph by Slim Aarons, which I really, really love. And then we have this amazing look. <laughs> wood storage we actually had it built specifically for this corner and i think it just makes it so much nicer over there and it really really adds texture to the space and then we have this absolutely gorgeous table this table was the first thing that i ever bought for this house and it was made for this room and I'm honestly just in love with it. It really, really adds a statement to the kitchen and is just the best table to sit at when we have dinner parties. I think it was made by a man called Andy Crossland and it's just amazing quality and we're really, really happy with it. And then I've just got these lights here, which I also have over the kitchen. Excuse that brush that Nat's just put there. But um, these lights are from Neptune and I really love them. When I first got them, I thought they were absolutely massive and I wasn't sure if they were too big, but now I really like them. And that's Nat banging upstairs. <laughs> so I thought at this stage of the video, I would speak a little bit about the process of having the kitchen done. I'm sorry if you can hear Nat, he's hoovering upstairs. You can kind of hear it in the background. So we made a horrible mistake when doing our kitchen and we did the kitchen before we did the floor. Don't do that. It was honestly, oh my goodness, it sounds like he's knocking down a wall. It was honestly, the worst thing we could have done. And it meant that when we were having the floor put in, we literally had to like build around it and do everything around the kitchen. And it constantly gave me anxiety as to if it was going to be damaged because having the floor done is no joke. We ended up having underfloor heating throughout the entire downstairs, which is the best decision we could have made 
for the heating because the heating in this house when we moved in was appalling. And in order to have that done, we had obviously all the floor ripped up that we had originally, which was this shiny gray tile. And then we had this, it kind of looks like Lego laid on the floor with all the um, heat water pipes through it. And then we had everything screeded. Now I didn't know anything about building until this process and screeding is very, very messy. It's kind of like, almost kind of like concrete. It just dries and it's very messy and dirty and dusty. We lived genuinely in the upstairs bedroom for months. And it was kind of the same when the kitchen was being done because the kitchen is just as much of a big job. It took, I think, three months in all. I really want to insert some clips of what those things looked like. So here is a clip of what the kitchen looked like before. The kitchen currently looks like this and there are beautiful big doors on that side. We're going with herringbone and what we are doing is we are knocking down this wall entirely and the kitchen will start from here and it is starting on October 23rd and we're just going to have one big kitchen diner. You can see the flooring has started and it looks really really good but obviously my whole house is being renovated. There's going to be nice new skirting boards which I really can't wait for. Yeah, my fridge is outside. There's literally nowhere it can go. It can't sit on this floor at the moment. And that's just been how we're living. And my kitchen looks horrendous. But again, that is renovation life. You have to live in a mess if you want it to look nice. And that's just how it is. It's just something you have to get used to because things have to be messy if they're going to get better. Uh, but it looks absolutely stunning yeah freddie looks stunning the floor looks amazing and i really genuinely cannot wait for it to be done to be normal and to be able to spend time in a room that isn't my bedroom imagine these floors underneath it and it being tidy it's going to be amazing and i'm so lucky it's literally a dream come true essentially I don't think that renovations are as glamorous as they seem. I think it's really glamorous afterwards, don't get me wrong, and it feels absolutely amazing to live in a house where I've picked everything and everything feels perfect. But during the time you're doing a renovation, you really don't feel glamorous. Every single day you're dusting and seemingly getting nowhere because every single day more and more dust is created. And although on the whole we had a great experience with herringbone and I would definitely use them again, it definitely was just a huge undertaking. Nat is currently, he is actually knocking more down as well as hoovering because we are preparing to have the spare bedroom done. So that's partly what some of the noise is. But anyway, I just thought I would add that a little bit about the renovation process and how long it was, how stressful it was, and how dusty it was. I genuinely, oh my goodness, this noise. I genuinely still have flashbacks to it, and I think, good God, it was really bad. Our fridge was outside for a month in the garden, and we couldn't use it. So, yeah, that, that wasn't so glamorous. But now, I could not be happier with the finished result. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you like my kitchen. Please, please comment on this video if you liked it, subscribe, all the good things, and I look forward to seeing you on my channel again. Goodbye.